So I have a question about the, the value of EMC, and I wonder if you could just, make, maybe I'll make an observation you can comment. Sure. I don't have my numbers exactly right, but roughly speaking, on January 1st, I looked at the value of EMC compared to a year ago, and, you, and I assumed an 80% valuation of, of, of VMware, ownership of VMware, and the core value of EMC actually dropped in, in a year where you had a great year. You know, Thrown up tons of free cash flow, uh, great revenues. So, do you feel like EMC is undervalued as a result of that, or is it fairly valued because of the VMware ownership and, and you get the uplift from that? I wonder if you could just talk about that dynamic. Does it matter? I mean, I, I know you think it's undervalued, but just if you could talk a little bit about the, the dynamic, and, and does that matter, and is there anything you can you do know, about that? There's shareholders that own VMware. I'm talking about, take EMC out of the equation. There's shareholders that have, own VMware. And for the year last year, they got 110% 100 return on their investment. The shareholders that owned EMC, and they got about a 33%, if memory serves me right, return on their investment. Right? So 110% up, 33% up. These are both far in excess. So customers are liking both sides. Right? Now, to your point, if you took VMware's value, and I don't even know where it is anymore, but it's uh, approaching, so it's, it's called 40 billion, because it's close. So if you took 80% or 81% of 40 billion, is that reflected in EMC's 50 billion? And the answer would probably be no, right? Uh, now we can go into why is that? And it's a lot of things, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways, ARBs, when you give two ways to play something, you, you, there's arbitrage. And then of course EMC, EMC at a company of close to 17 billion dollars in revenue, uh, can you afford to give that, you know, you, you kind of got a bit of a sanity coming in too, right? Uh, in terms of what, what am I going to give EMC, this big company, forget about VMware for a second, what am I going to give just that consolidated P&L, what PE am I going to give that relative to its peers? So if you look at the big peers, you know, you look at an Oracle, you look at a Microsoft, you look at an Intel, you look at Cisco, et cetera, et cetera, they are giving us a higher P in all of those companies. I make a statement that of the really big companies in IT, we're the smallest of the big, right? So uh, we didn't announce this quarter, but last quarter, you know, we, you know, we had 50 billion in market cap, and last quarter we had uh, 10 and a half billion in cash. That's a lot. In any other industry, it'd be a giant, but you know, in, in our industry, there's there's companies that are way bigger and way more cash. So again, um, it's not all the big ones have more cash, but if you look at it in kind of the macro. So, you know, we're kind of the smallest of the big, which is okay. You know, we have a lot to run. But if you look at all the, the ones that are above us, right, we have a higher feed in all of them. So I think there's two ways to look at it, right? One way is you look at a consolidator, and that's what we're telling the world. We're telling the world, hey, VMware's part of the family. Yes, we shared it with the employees and we shared it with the public, but we're we're holding our stake and it's and, and it's a consolidated it's a it's a it's a consolidated company, part of our financials. So they believe us and they're looking at EMC as a whole and they're saying what what do I want to get EMC as a whole? What PE do I want to give that company? What's their growth? What's their prospects? And and you know and I'm not going to argue with the market. So it's as cheap as it. We just got to continue to perform and things tend to take care of themselves. So that's, I think, what's happening with EMC. They're looking at it as a whole because they're now believing us. There's a lot of fodder for a while. Well, you're going to split them off. You're going to do this. You know, I kept saying, no, we're not. No, we're not. This, this strategy together makes a lot of sense. Right? I mean, if you look at the cloud, you know, do you need what VMware's doing? Absolutely. Do you need information? Information storage, information management, information protection, information security, information intelligence? Yes, you do. Those are pieces. So you, we got all of that in one company. You know, we partner very closely with Cisco and get some of the pieces that we don't have, most namely um, networking, and, and uh, we use their UCS servers, right? So again, I like what we have. But I do think what's happening is customer, they're not customers, investors are looking at us and they're believing us. They're saying, okay, let's look at this as a consolidated entity. And then VMware, um, you know, just got an opportunity to go to a, really unique place in life and they're treating that more as, as a, uh, you know, it's, it's got great momentum, it's got great place in the cloud and it's, uh, believes that it'll grow into its PE over time so they're willing to give that more of an advanced PE, which, you know, multiples of EMCs and um, you know, that's kind of the way they're playing it and a lot of investors play both sides.
Right? So, so it is what it is.